going to make life very interesting indeed as uh, they try and time these pit stops for the last part of the race. Yeah, and if they come in and make a pit stop now, Ben, unless there's uh, quite a few more cautions, they're going to have a really hard time getting to the end of the race. There's still, what, 32 laps to go. And uh, in the first, uh, first part of the race, we had, what, uh, five laps of caution right away, and then another two or three after that. And even then, they were only able to get to lap 31, 32. And then they were probably running pretty lean. So it's going to be touch and go whether they can get to the end on just one more fuel stop, and particularly if it goes green all the way. Yes, that's right. So let's wait and see what happens here as Greg Moore leads them into the pits. And uh, with a big advantage that he'd opened up over Adrian Fernandez in that last stint, he's got uh, quite an advantage for his crew to maintain and hopefully getting him out ahead again. Now then, let's see if we can compare some of the pit stops here. Greg Moore down at the far end of the pit lane, uh, but Adrian Fernandez actually further down than he is. Moore pretty much in the centre. We've seen some uh, 12, 13 second stops. Oh, and he's been held up a bit on his exit. As, oh, and he's hit! He's damaged the rear! He's lost any chance of winning this race! And that was Greg Moore's fault! He saw Ribeiro was in front. He lit up the rear wheels. He rode over the back of Andre Ribeiro's car. And that's it! chances here would you believe it he's driven superbly this afternoon but just a moment of over anxiety a little bit too keen with the right foot on the throttle he's hit the back of Ribeiro Ribeiro's got going I uh, hope that his car is all right I hope the Penske crew members are okay I think one of them actually got hit there as a result but uh, it does look as though he's okay but that's it Jeremy for Greg Moore today well, yeah, that's uh, oh, that's a very strange uh, thing to do there by Greg Moore. He had the trace in his pocket, and the suspension we hear is broken on the player's car, and there is Greg Moore clambering out of the car. Disappointment there for Greg Moore. He didn't need to pull out anything uh, spectacular. There was a good stop by the player's crew. Uh, he had a clear advantage, and there is Ribera pulling out. And good grief. He just lit up the rears, as he would normally, of course. Normally, he'd come out with that much slide, it would be all right. But not when there's a car there. The car was right in the way, and Greg should just have driven out slowly. He had the advantage on Fernandez anyway, coming into the pits. He had a couple of seconds. Yeah, he had six or seven seconds. In fact, he'd been pulling out uh, a substantial lead before that caution came out. He was pulling away at a good half a second a lap, and he's now thrown it all away. And uh, it was uh, he didn't have a lot of uh, manoeuvring space there, of course. The pit lane, you know, there's not a lot of room in the pit lane, and Ribeiro was in, I mean, uh, yeah, Ribeiro was in slightly in on the skew, but uh, let's go down to the pit lane now and hear from uh, Greg Moore. Leave the pits and the back end came out and uh, I think Ribeiro was sticking out, you know, fairly far and it just uh, hit his right rear tire. It looked like as he was nosing in, you had to make an initial move to try to avoid contact. Then as you got on the throttle, there was just uh, no way to clear him? There's just no room. Oh, got to be a huge, huge Greg, disappointment. Greg. They're assessing the damage to the car. Look and out. all Greg can do right now is just shake his head. Well, that's how close it was, but he got the front end pass, but he just lit up the rear too much. Hard, of course. It's so easy to uh, say from up here in the commentary box, well, he should have taken it calm, but remember, these guys, their hearts are pounding at sort of, you know, some incredible rate, 170, something like that in terms of uh, pulse rate. They're been working flat out on track, and he just just got a bit carried away, didn't he, coming out? That's yeah, all. he certainly did, and uh, you can see that rear tire flying there across, and uh, hits it, runs into the, uh, the guy changing the front right wheel on under his car. I'm not sure whether that's John Bozog, the crew chief. I think it probably is. Uh, with a bit of luck, he'll be okay. But there is uh, the player's car being pushed away at the end of the day for Greg Moore. Yeah, very much the end of the day. A moment of rashness has ended any chance of a race victory here for the Canadian.